time from a new vlog series. We are heading to Disneyland Paris today. Um, hopefully. We've already had a hiccup. We got messages in the middle of the night from Air France telling us that our flight was delayed by six hours. So we should have been setting off at two o'clock this morning. Um, it is now half past six. We have all, well we slept in a little bit. Obviously didn't get up at two when we didn't have to. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have some breakfast and then head to the airport a little bit early to see what's going on. Um, we need to pick up a compensation form. I think we get compensation because it's such a long delay. But we're going to Disney, yay! <laughs> We are in the car, we're heading to the airport now. Uh, if you're new here, my name's Kim, um, Adam is sat driving, Eli is in the back, he's nearly four, and we have a little one, Asa, who's one. Um, yeah, we're going to Disneyland Paris today, hopefully. For the first time ever, we've never been, we've done various other Disney places. We went to Walt Disney World in October, Adam and I have done California and Hong Kong, but we've never done Paris, which is our lo uh, local, <laughs> our closest park, <laughs> local. <laughs> um, so yeah, we are in the car. We were supposed to be heading to the airport at two o'clock this morning, but we got messages about 11.30 last night saying that the flight was delayed for six hours. So um, after looking up various things in the middle of the night, we kind of went back to sleep and got up at a normal time and now we're heading to Manchester Airport to get the um, Air France flight over to Charles de Gaulle hopefully um, and figure out what kind of compensation we can get because of course um, <laughs> from what I read I think it's like you can get 250 euros cash so we will see we'll see what's going on and hope we get to Disneyland Paris today. <laughs> I should also say I do have an eye infection which is why I look like a bit of a zombie mole Thing. Um, in true fashion, we couldn't go on holiday without a series of unfortunate events, basically. So Acer is on antibiotics, so we've had to bring them with us. He's got a, had a mild ear infection, and I have an eye infection and a sore throat. But I mean, that's just kids, isn't it? Like they just cough in your face, and you get ill all the time. Lovely. <laughs> flight is showing so we're gonna go and try and see what's going on and get our bags sorted well we've got hand luggage only but we've got a pram so we're gonna see what's what's happening so we made it through security in record time that was amazing um no problems we had to have some bags rescanned but that was fine and we're through and we've been given 13 pounds each to get some breakfast from air france um, and then we can apply for compensation for the flight after that, so we'll see what happens with that. Eli's just trying out the uh, Sol de Janeiro bum bum cream. He's got a bit of the oil on his hands. How does it smell? Good. Good. Can you, can you, can you let's smell this? Let's sm so last time we came in here, all this was closed. It still wasn't done. So they've, they've redone this entire terminal. Is it Terminal 2? Yep. Terminal 2. Um, so it's much nicer now. And there's actual shops and stuff. Um, I've made my first purchase of the holiday. Some diff lamb throat spray. It's amazing. So Eli got a little overnight oats pot. Is it good? Yeah. Mmm, it looks tasty. And we just got some flat whites. How are you doing, Adam? <laughs> One thing is, with those vouchers, you can only use them at certain places, so we couldn't use them at Pret, which is annoying because we were like, we can just get some bits from Pret. Um, you could use them at Arches, and we got our coffees and the um, overnight oats from Hot Kettle Black. Um, so yeah, just be aware if you ever <laughs> have this experience, you can't use them everywhere.
the, I guess, the terminal. <laughs> and now we're heading towards the train station and we're going to try and get the quick train over to Disneyland. Um, it should take 10 minutes on the train, so we're going to see how we get on. So we've come down to floor two. We think this is the right way. It says main, main lines. Ticket machines. Ticket machines. Let's go. These blue ticket machines look like it's the area for the center of Paris. So we're gonna head over here, we think. I don't know, we'll figure it out to where there's different ticket machines. Okay, we're on the machine here by the TGV stand and we're searching for the station and I just put Disney in and it's come up with the what we think is the right one. <laughs> Let's hope so. Okay, we've just been through for the return, all the information's there. Um, we're gonna go for this train, second class. This is for all four of us. I think the kids are free. Well, the kids are nine, nine euro. Um, and we're 19. Continue. Oh, maybe it's it's 56 euro each way. Okay. Not for return, yeah. Yeah. Then what? Pick the one that we're coming back on. You've gotta go through and put all your names in as well. So we're just doing that for all of us now. <laughs> Okay, so that was relatively easy. Adam's just printing out a million tickets. <laughs> um, yeah, we've never used these machines before and it was simple. So you can get your ret it's a return ticket we've got. So we had to put in what time we were coming back and it selected the train and given us seats and stuff. So now we've got about an hour, about an hour to wait to, for that train. I think we kind of just missed one annoyingly. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go and try and find the train now. Probably such a hot sweaty mess. Well, and I am a hot sweaty mess after that. That train was not the nicest experience. It was overly busy. Um, people wanted seats for their bags. Um, but we are here. We're at Disney. Disney, Disney Village. My voice is just breaking. Disney Village is just behind us. Um, yeah. So we're gonna go try and find our hotel. We're staying at Hotel Cheyenne. Um, we're trying to decide whether to walk or to get the bus. We are the furthest away, we've just checked in and we are now heading to our hotel room at Hotel Cheyenne. We're in building 10, which is the furthest away, but how cool is this? It's like um, cowboy themed, <laughs> Woody from Toy Story themed, and uh, we didn't tell Eli and he's a bit, <laughs> I don't think he understands. <laughs> it, 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 he was shocked. How cool is this room? It's all woody and cowboy themed. We've got a cowboy boot lamp. I got my baby got a cowboy pillow. You got a cowboy pillow. Yeah, We've got a cot. Oh, Eli will be sitting lights. on there. Woody lights. Woody lights. Oh, and, and look who's on the top. Woody curtains. <gasps> wow. And what else? We've got USB sockets. An English plug socket. <laughs> What's it like, Eli? What do you think? Too horrific. Too horrific. No, I said too horrific. We've had an hour or so to cool down, calm down. It, it got a bit fraught there towards the end of the travel day, didn't it? Ad? A little bit fraught. Everyone was a bit hot and bothered. Um, but yeah, this is quite nice. It's like a, a rose garden. So yeah, we've had a bit of a cool down. It is now half past six. We're gonna head to Disney Village, get something to eat. You wanna scare that bird? Okay. And then we're gonna head into the park and hopefully we'll catch the fireworks. We're hoping the kids are just gonna... We're hoping the kids are just gonna crash. Um, and then we can have a bit of a wander around get some 
be a libation. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, ride some rides. Ride some rides. Whoop whoop. <laughs> so um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what energy. we do. I have no idea. Any energy between the two or not? Hey, look at this map. Selfie spot. Ooh. So we're staying in Sundance. This is actually a really good one for getting to the parks. So that's good. We're quite far away from Starbucks though, which is worrying. We're just looking at these giant fish. Oh, he's giving them some grass. I was amazed that nothing else came through during the night saying it's cancelled. And then when we got there, I was amazed that um, when it wasn't showing a body, a, a gate, that it actually eventually gave us a gate. We've got... Huh? Oh, yeah. oh, this is a lovely breeze. Let's just check the muffs on. So we had some plans for today that obviously have just all gone out the window because of what happened. So um, we are just kind of playing it by ear, hoping to get on some rides and then planning on staying for the fireworks. But our original plan was to have like an afternoon nap after getting up so early. Um, but that obviously didn't work. Uh, so we're just gonna do what we can and see if we can stay for the fireworks tonight because they start at 11. So we're definitely gonna come and look around some of the hotels. Um, mainly out of Marvel, which looks amazing and we would have stayed there if we were millionaires, but alas, we were at Shane. Um, Newport Bay over there. And we're coming up on Disney Village. We are very much feeling like salmon swimming upstream. Everyone seems to be exiting and we're just going in. So that, that's probably good. It's a bit quiet. I think it's like a five minute wait on um, Phantom Manor. So I think we might head there. for like the end of the 30th celebrations so we still have all the cool 30th stuff up how cool is that back on main street <gasps> are you excited <laughs> heading on to Phantom Manor because there's a five minute wait and uh, Ace is asleep so me and Eli are going to do it and then he's going to come do it again with Adam. Decided that we're going to go on a small world now so the wait times for some of the classic rides are really low so we're just taking advantage of that and getting on what we can this evening. Wally, it's cute. So we decided to head back to the hotel. We are defeated. It's quarter to nine, so we did Small World. That was another walk on, which was amazing. So we managed to do two rides tonight. That's that's fine. <laughs> I didn't expect much <laughs> from us. 
Um, and we're headed back in tomorrow to, we're going to studios first thing in the morning, trying to get on web slingers because we've got the extra, extra hour in the morning to try and get all the stuff. And then we have a Pim's Kitchen booking. So that's very exciting. So we will see you tomorrow.